Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. Hey, guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna fire up the Aussie V8. Um, I did get it started. Um, now I got the carb kind of set. So we're gonna fire it up and see if it idles on its own. So here we go, guys. Hang on, grab the popcorn and do your thing, man. Here we go. So oh, there's some things on this I wanna go over with everybody. Um, now I bought mine piece by piece, okay, so I had to, um, it didn't come in the kit, so I had to make my own igniters, my own exhaust, um, come up with my own starter motor, um, and my water pump. Now this one here I bought from Sterling Kit, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it pushes it a lot, now I don't know if it's going to work for this or not, um, but we're going to find out. Maybe I can put a smaller pulley on it, get a little bit more movement through here. Um, because now this engine has just first started, so there's a ton of friction going on in here, and it gets hot, hot. So I got my my uh, overflow jug here. I got it coming from the bottom into the pump, out of the pump, into the block, out of the block, into the top of the radiator to cool it down, and then back into the overflow. So, let's see. And I got a fan on here that came with the fan I got from Engine DIY. Um, and this is for your the 36cc um, engine that they have. They advertise that. Now the important things on this, um, I tried for weeks and weeks and weeks trying to figure out, you know, why it wouldn't start. It would pop and fart, pop and fart. I played with the timing. You see, I got the timing cover off, and I even set my my timing by the on the cam there, the 18436572, that's, that's the firing order. Um, I did take the blower off the thing, you know, the supercharger, and I put one carb on it, because I contacted Gary, and he was super helpful. Um, now these are the new billet heads that come with it, and uh, they come with brass inserts and everything, they're all sealed, ready to go. Two important things. One, you gotta have a, a starter motor with some serious RPM. So I'm using a nine turn brush this on here with a small pinion that, that flew off actually as soon as I went to start the video up, of course. <laughs> when you know. Um, let's see, the other really important thing is the glow plugs. You have to watch what glow plugs you use. Um, now, if you're gonna do one of these engines, I would highly suggest before you put it together, get your glow plugs and make sure that they don't bottom out on the valves because that's what was happening with me. Um, I added a second washer, you know, the little uh, copper washer on the glow plug. I added two per glow plug and it pulled the glow plug back enough away from the, um, the valve where it didn't touch the valve because what it would do it would just push the valve off its seat just by a little fraction and uh, so now to put the supercharger on I take these four bolts off here they're screws pop it off on a plate bolt right on there I take this carburetor off and I put that back on the supercharger um, but I went through about a half a gallon of fuel trying to start this thing with no avail before I found out uh, the glow plug dilemma and the um, the starter motor wasn't turning it fast enough it would almost want to go but not so now I have ran probably one of those tanks through it that's one of your Baja 5 tanks um, I don't know what the cc's is on it but I'm going to run another one through it to let it kind of break in because it's just now getting broken you'll see in the video and uh, enough talk here, guys. Let's fire the mother up and uh, let you guys hear it run.
got it. A little more uh, breaking in. And uh, these things heat up pretty good. So stay tuned for more, guys. Like, share, subscribe if you want. And I'll be back with more. Later. Adios.